Welcome back to Sam's Garage, presented by NH Oil Undercoating. We are back with Joe DuPont at NHOU. He's going to show us how their one-of-a-kind oil undercoating will protect your vehicle from rust and corrosion. The oil is specifically designed to creep into the hard-to-reach areas of the undercarriage to provide long-lasting coverage. Best of all, it's eco-friendly and it will not harm the environment. Hi William, so what brings you here? I heard the oil was a little bit better, so know nothing about it. You want to keep it? The wife does too. The wife does, <laughs> yes. She wants it more than me. Okay. <laughs> in some of these Jeeps, you know, in particular this year, they do have some issues with over the wheel well inside the frame. The problem is these holes right here, what happens is they, they collect dirt and dust and then that kind of retains the moisture. Inside the frame is unfinished and so it's prone to rust from the inside out. Now, this is an extreme case. In the back there, it looks like we have lost some structural integrity, which is, I guess, why uh, it's necessitating uh, the, the frame replacement. Yes, uh, we do have a frame on order for it because of the oh. situation, but I wanna get it oiled so I don't run into this problem again. Right. Yeah, because right here, I've got all this dirt up in here, and it's... It holds the moisture. Yeah. Right there. I've got it right here. Yep. Mudding and all that is all your dirt get in there. When you get your new frame, you're going to come right back to us, and we're going to put oil inside the frame. And so even if you do now accumulate more dirt and dust in there, that is actually just going to be like one, one more layer of protection. The oil is going to stay and be a barrier against the moisture. The biggest problem with Jeeps is the mud and the dirt that accumulates inside the frame holds the moisture and everything rots from the inside out. The brake lines, the fuel lines, I'm also looking at those too. Right. Because obviously those are gonna get undercoated, uh, oiled. Brake lines, electrical connections, uh, inside the panels, inside the frame, outside the frame. So we can't see inside the frame, but what the oil's gonna do is, I showed you the back of that truck. Yep. It's going to creep. So if it can creep six, eight inches on the back of that truck, it's gonna do the same thing, which is gonna encapsulate the whole interior of that frame. That's critical because we can't get 100% coverage when it's inside. We do go off-roading with it, so... <laughs> so if you go off-roading, so his, this is going to be a challenge now. So if you get a lot of mud on there, what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, if, if it's muddy, are you going to power wash it? No. What do you do? I throw two sprinklers underneath it and I let them run. Okay, so just keep in mind that... Then, then I'll go to the car wash. Okay. You know, that way I'm not clogging the, the car wash right. with the, right. uh, the mud. The I... next guy isn't getting it on, <laughs> on it, right. I would use a hose and not high pressure if you can help it, because high okay. pressure is going to remove oil while you're removing the dirt. And gotcha. what you may want to consider with the Jeep, if you're going off-roading, is maybe you come back in in six months and have it touched up. Okay. Okay? Not going to be as expensive as a full treatment. we we'll just touch it up and maintain it. You, yes. You have your frame replacement. Yep. Come back. Spring is a great time because yeah. spring actually, condensation, temperatures get warm, it, it accelerates uh, corrosion. Drive it all summer, bring it back in the fall, put it away with the oil on it. And then what we'll do is we'll oil everything that has rust, including the inside of the frame, the outside of the frame. Okay. And what we're going to do is never stop Mother Nature, but slow her down. So you come back every year, and I'll guarantee you that won't happen again if you're diligent. With the